In this video, we will discuss box and whiskers plots. Box and whiskers plots are a way of representing and analyzing data, and they contain five key parts. We first have the minimum of the data set, and that's as our lowest observation, which goes all the way to the left. Then you have the lower quartile of quartile one, and that's the median of the lower half, which we draw right here and we refer to as quartile one. Then we have the median or quartile two, which goes in the middle of the box. Then we have the upper quartile or quartile three is the median of the upper half, which goes as the other side of our whisker, which we usually refer to as Q3. And then the maximum of the data set is the highest observation, which goes all the way to the right. Now with these box and whiskers plots, there's a couple of things we can calculate. First, we can see how much the spread of the data is. So we can calculate the range, which is the max minus the min, and that's the spread of the whole data set. Additionally, we can calculate the interquartile range, which is a spread of the a measure of the spread of the middle of the data set. And the interquartile range is calculated by subtracting Q3 minus Q1. In order to calculate a box and whiskers plot, there's a couple of steps we have to take. First, you have to rewrite the data values in numerical order. Then you're going to determine the minimum and the maximum, graph them on the number line. Then you'll determine the median, graph that on the number line. The lower quartile, graphing it on the number line. And the upper quartile, your Q3, graphing it on the number line. And then finally use that to construct your box and whiskers. In this first example, it asks us to construct a box and whiskers plot for the data set and then calculate the interquartile and range and the range. So first let's rewrite our numbers in numerical order. So the smallest number of the data set is the 19.2. Then our next number, if we're going in order, would be 25.6. Now the next number would be 27.5. Then we would have 28, 28.1, 31, 32, 33, and 34.1. Now, the first thing we want to pick out the max and the min. So this number all the way to the left, this is going to be the minimum, which is 19.2. And the number all the way to the right is our maximum. So the maximum equals 34.1. Now the median is the middle number. So for a median, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the median is going to be the fifth number, three, four, five. Which in this case is 28.1. And this is because it's the fifth number because we have nine data points. Now, the remaining calculations are for Q1. So Q1 is the median of the lower half. Now, looking at the data, we have one, two, three, four points. So the median would technically go in between these two numbers. So I have to do 25.6 plus 27.5 and divide it by 2, which if I add the 25.6 plus 27.5 divided by 2, it gives you that Q1 equals 28.1. 
26.55. And then for the upper half, we're going to do the same thing. So excluding the median, I have that Q3 equals, and it's the median of the upper half. So the median of the upper half is going to be between the 32 and 33. So it'll be 32 plus 33 divided by 2. So we get that Q3 equals 32.5. Now using this information, I can graph it on my number line. So I would first graph the minimum and the maximum. So the minimum is at 19.2. So I'm going to put it right here so I can label 19.2. The maximum, we're going to estimate our values in between. You're going up by 2. The maximum is at 34.1. Then I can draw in the parts of my box. So my Q3, or the or Q2 I mean, or the medium is at 28.1. So I can draw my part of the median is right here. So 28.1. My Q1 is at 26.55, which is going to be about right here. So it's 26.55. And my Q3 is at 32.5, which is about right here. So I can draw in my box and whiskers. So I have the minimum, Q1, the median, Q3, and the maximum. Now given this information, the range equals the max minus the min. So in this case, the range would be 34.1 minus 19.2, which if I subtract, gives me 14.9. And the inner quartile range equals Q3 minus Q1. So in this case, it would be 32.5. minus the 26.55, which when I subtract 32.5 minus 26.55 gives you the inner quartile range equals 5.95. So the whole data set spreads over 14.9 units versus the middle 50% spreads over 5.95 units. In our next example, we're first going to start by rewriting the numbers in order. So my smallest number is I have two 6.5s. So I have 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 
However, since it goes in between these two, I have to find the average. So the 8 plus 8 over 2, which in this case works out to equal 8 since it's the same number. However, this won't always be the case. Now I have to find my Q1 and Q2, or Q1 and Q3. Now, since Q1 does not include the mean, or since the median is not an actual number, I'm going to include it in my Q1 and Q3 calculations. So Q1 is the median of the lower half. And if I find the median of these or the median of these five numbers would be seven. So Q1 is seven. And for Q3 is the median of the upper half. including the 8. So I'd have 8, 9, 10, 11, and 11. The median is 10. Now using this information, we can construct our box and whiskers. So I can draw in my minimum and maximum. So I have a minimum at 6.5 and a maximum at 11. Then I have my median at 8. You have Q1 at 7, you have Q3 is at 10. So I can use this to finish drawing in the box and whiskers. Now our range equals the max minus the min. So in this case, it will be 11 minus 6.5, which if I subtract, gives you 4.5 as your total range versus the inner quartile range or the IQR is Q3 minus Q1 which in this case Q3 is 10 minus Q1 is 7 so this gives us the inner quartile ranges 3. So the spread of the whole data says 4.5 and the spread of the middle 50% of the data is 3.